Wagwan viewers, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can hear, a man in a video, him the pan the gang my people, couple um police day all over him so them say yo this is a special SWAT team where them send out this special operation the mama don't get sent out unless a special operation my people so as me say we pledge ourselves others lose ya to liberate all our people from the continued bondage of poverty greatness we say the whole world in a crisis Man a move like Taliban and a ISIS At the end of the day of the night and the dark Jamaica bring back the niceness It's a fi all of me dogs in the streets And the road is a crunch time, crunch time. I go so hard for the lane and the main thing The pain and the tough time, tough time. All who day I won't go span the tear And the yard of your stuff time That's what it is Just hold up your head And I know if you're a giant Then you're a rough time Simple thing to a giant Life is a delicate subject and Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again. The great. Great. One more great countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe. And click on another video. Yo, I want to thank all the subscribers them. And all the viewers them. Without you guys, countryman wouldn't be anywhere. So once again, I'm saying big up to all the subscribers and all the viewers. Now, let's. Now, we're still speaking about this police boy in Jamaica. His name is Jason McKay. That's him there on the screen. And you know, somebody watch one of the videos that i did and say that this guy looks like and acts like the jamaican stephen seagal first thing i want to say this guy is a jewish guy his name is yiddish and he is white as day and he is in jamaica as a police officer and he's hunting and killing all the young black men them now all the man them him kill is no part none of them past 31 years of age i have heard so many horror stories about this police officer it's hard for me to fathom that he is still on the Jamaican police force him and the two twins and the two twin police they are running behind this white boy police who is killing off the black men them everybody him kill they are black so to me this looks like is some kind of racial or prejudice notion this police boy is going off i've heard so much our story you guys see the video that i show at the front where the young man is begging jason please don't kill me jason please don't kill me and them still kill the man how can the jamaican government sit down and make this happen to people in them community for the longest time ever since i was a little boy growing up i've heard some horror stories about secret police and hit squad and people are telling me like this is all speculation alleged that this guy right here we're looking at makia from uh, the 100 man police station and him own a security guard firm it seems like 
he's one of the hitman police for the government. Now, I want you guys to follow me. You see, throughout Jamaican history, we have had some treacherous uh, politicians. And these politicians have been mixed up in all sorts of crap. And all of it come tumbling down on Jamaican people. Now, remember Rifle, Wani British, Bully, Waldi. Now, there was rumor floating around that these guys were taken out by police. There was other rumors also. But the more I research into this guy right here, you understand? It wouldn't surprise me if a hierarchy in the Jamaican government, which is the JLP government at this time, gave the orders to get rid of those guys and one thing that was going on with these guys while they bully one all of those guys they definitely had the community on lock and they were in a position which they were swaying people's uh how people look at government because I heard one time the uh, Prime Minister sent to call Waldi and when he called Waldi, Waldi said he's not going to wear house, whatever and I heard the Prime Minister didn't like that because Andrew Holiness is the MP for Catburn Pen and Waterhouse that's his constituency and I'm laughing but this is serious. He has done nothing for that community. So, Rifle and all them guys, they were big influence on the community. They were doing what politicians were not doing. And it seems like those guys became a threat to the government. Now, I tried to figure out how these police get their hit job and I ask one person if do you think it's coming from the uh, superintendent who runs the police station and the answer is no people think that these hitman police that works with the government and the black squad they take orders from higher up and when I say higher up I mean like national security and like the police commissioner and that's the theory we're looking into because for the longest time I have a policeman friend and he told me years ago that the government always have some black labor police officer who go out in the community and take out certain gangsters and make it look like it's gang war you see what i'm saying and i just have a feeling that this guy right here that's the kind of stuff he's mixed up in. Now, it also seems like the white boy police, yeah, he's mixed up with the gang. The immortal gang out of Spanish town, as you heard from the last video. And this dude right here, it seems like he's also mixed up with charge of badness from out of the Gulf in Gregory Park you understand so this guy right here it seems like him of the whole St. Catherine 
in fear. And he's dealing with certain kind of bad man. And then the opposing people them, him go in and clean them up. You see what I'm saying? My thing is, why is this white boy police still on the force? Why this white boy police killing off these black people? Uh, it's a black and white issue. I don't care. Why him don't go and kick off Andrew door or kick off some of them politician door and do what he have to do with them? Why is he going down into the ghetto and fuck with the people that when I have no money? Now, look at the screen in front of you. Him kill after you here in the barber shop, Andrew. And then bring him body to the morgue. After him bring the man body to the morgue. Identify himself as police. Go up to the man house. Search up the man house. Do all sort of thing. Go back to the bar where the youth have him phone. Take the youth phone. Now, he has written this down as a gunman kill the youth. And everybody, everybody you know, knows that it's not a gunman. So listen, what I am asking people to do, please don't be afraid of this policeman. Contact me. Contact me. Tell on a story. If you have evidence against him, bring it forward so we can bring it to the IA. Come on and try to seek some justice. Now, what I am going to do with this policeman, because I heard he's Canadian and he's from Canada or whatever, I am going to contact the Canadian RCMP, I'm going to contact the Canadian State Department, I'm going to contact every government agency in our Canada we deal with uh, immigrants or law enforcement and let them know about this police because even the US may have a contact because my thing is I see in the US where they have sanctioned politicians in Haiti they have sanctioned other politicians in Latin and South America uh, they just charged the ex-president of Honduras and they charged him for money laundering and he's here in America going a trial right now so listen people we cannot be afraid I know you're all uh, try different things in the com we went to whatever whatever but we see how the justice is in Jamaica it is not working so what I am asking people to do with this police boy here please contact me send on some information Everything on the know if we don't have evidence, really what we need right now to get rid of this police boy and black balls him is straight evidence. So people when you guys see this guy come into on a neighborhood, pull out your phone camera and start record. Record everything, document everything this policeman is doing. People who violate and kill their family member who don't have to step forward. You understand? Who can't be like, oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. We have to stand for something or we stand for nothing. Nobody's gonna live forever. You understand? And it's all you want to live your life. Now, this policeman, he's living his life. 
going around killing off black Jamaicans. And look how white that boy they look, yo. Big pussy wall, police boy. You understand? Me have a problem with that. And me want some justice. Listen, the boy, like me say, him worse than Shotty Mark. And the same thing when I do with Shotty Mark, me I do with this police. Him, Makie security firm, it need to be shut down. Rich people, I'm warning you guys about this police. If you've been robbed and killed, and you use this security firm, I him do it, because I'm a thief. You understand? Dangerous white boy, Jewish white boy, where come to Jamaica and family them. You understand? They've been stealing our our land from we since independence. I don't care. You understand? The same thing going on in America with ra racism and prejudice. It's the same thing going on in Jamaica. Your light skin, you get treated different. And Pretty much that's what it is. We want justice. So like me say, I am gonna stay on this police boy case. Me now come on fight. Me I go contact the Canadian embassy everywhere, law enforcement. Just like me I go do shotty mark. Cause shotty mark, you see you? You think me done with you? You think you're tough? Alright. You better listen to me and lift up half of the corner there. Makia, same thing me I tell you. Turn in yourself, dog. Resign from the force. You understand? Now, more on talk about something else. The system in Jamaica is flawed in terms of justice system. Uh, you have one DDP and she runs the whole island and the system, because of that the system is, is, is flawed now anybody getting charged even the IC commission when they recommend charge for a politician it has to go to the DDP and then she said okay yeah we can charge him. Ah, uh, everything goes through her, and the system is set up, screwed up. The DDP, no one person should have that amount of power in a country, and especially when you have such a crime-ridden com country with murders and stuff like that and corruption. What the government needs to do, they need to model the justice system different. Each parish supposed to have their own director of prosecution. Each parish should have their own parish police. Each city should have the city police. For the taxi and the car, we should have a highway patrol so you have separate police throughout the system Paula Ewellyn should be like a director of prosecution on the federal level because you have to break down the crime in terms of violent which would be I'm sorry not violent uh, state crime and federal crime so that whole system right there have to be scrapped and revamp because now just imagine police can have investigation and come up with evidence to charge the dirty white police boy, Maki, and send it to the DDP, and she can refuse to charge because of whatever reason. 
that's how Jamaica system is. Now, with the rife for corruption, Makie, which you know him have money, guy him have karate school and, and security and him have thiefing police and murderer police, can pay off the DDP. You understand? So the, the whole system is flawed. Another thing that I notice, and this video is a little bit long. People saw my video, they are too short. <laughs> but I don't like too much of a long video. But another thing I notice about the system, like me I said, the system is totally flawed. Because we are running a system from like back in the old days and it's a new era. So we need new laws. The uh, Prime Minister, it seems like he's rifled with corruption in terms of how rich he's getting. And I want you guys to notice this. He has surrounded himself with straight law enforcement. You see what I'm saying? He is the Minister of Defense. So Andrew Holiness control the army. His deputy prime minister controls the police. The commissioner of police is an ex-army general. So right there, you see what I'm saying? It's total control and total military. And total fascism. There is no way an army general should be a police or a commissioner. That couldn't work in some countries. You see what I'm saying? And the prime minister is the head defense of the country. It's kind of crazy. You should have, have a defense minister. When you have centralized power like that, it's ripe for corruption. So, like Andrew, let me say, uh, I don't have any proof of factual corruption. But in theory, the it's a recipe for disaster because remember now the DDP Andrew controls her she has the last say on every single charges in Jamaica him of the Je army general as police captain or commissioner and then him of Chang who can't travel to the US because he was mixed up with drug dealing a boy named Nimhart from out of Westmoreland and other things. If you guys notice, Chang has never traveled to America or Canada because he's blacklisted. So Andrew have all of these power brokers around him and have a total control. The only thing Andrew do is buy guns for the police then and make himself get rich so the whole system wants to be changed and that's why we have guys like this this dirty stinking white boy police killing off people kids now I am not done with this boy you know because I have made a video coming out about a youth with them put on some trumped up charges on him I may have everything laid out I may have shown her how the youth is innocent but yet still the boy make him get charged you understand and it's just a constant <sighs> nightmare for these people you understand constant nightmare for them and we need to change that. Andrew, we need to step up. We need to revamp the whole system. 
this is what I'm saying. I'm I'm a little bit more calmer in this video because I want people to understand what I am saying and I am dead serious. Police boy Makia, Jewish police boy we are kill off the black people then. May I come for you when I done with you. Leave all in the comments and like me say people who they need to step up and bring in the evidence. Call me, send the evidence, don't be afraid. Me I go take it to the police boy yo. Straight up. Listen, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe and click on another video. I'm out.